back to Spotlight. Joining me now is Dr. Robert Foberg. He is the new dean of the Oakland University William Beaumont Medical School. And uh, we're excited to have you here. Uh, tomorrow's a big day. Uh, the first inaugural class uh, at Oakland University Medical School, 50 students coming in. Um, you got, you, did you ever think this day was going to get there? Uh, after working for three years, it seems as if it might not, but we're delighted. You're ready to yeah. go. What's been the biggest challenge of opening a brand new medical school? Putting all the pieces together. Uh, it's just a lot to assemble in, uh, at one time. But you know what the biggest challenge for us, opening a new medical school here in Southeast Michigan? No, the biggest challenge. In Southeast Michigan, it's overcoming what I would call low self-esteem of Southeast Michigan. Really? Uh, yeah, as if nothing positive could ever happen here. I have to tell you... You ran into a lot of that. We ran into it from day one. I remember when my wife and I moved here in September of 2008, just going to the supermarket, and the clerk asked me for, uh, do you have a card, you know, a supermarket card, right. to give you a discount? And I said, no, because we don't have your, your, your outlet in suburban Chicago where I live. And she said, you moved here from Chicago? Why would you do that? Huh. Not got repeated. Putting the region down. Putting, the re putting people down. So just getting the community psyched up about itself has been a challenge. Have you been pleasantly surprised uh, since you've been here? We enjoy the area. Uh, in fact, I've recruited people from all over the country, not just the students, uh, people from uh, New York and, and in Pennsylvania, Louisiana, Wisconsin, Minnesota, they enjoy so the these area. these are the benefits that are coming in of opening this brand new medical well, school. It's attracting people here. Thirty percent of the charter class of the 50 students coming in come here from all over the country, Rhode Island to California, and they're choosing to come to Southeast Michigan. That should tell Southeast Michigan it has a lot to offer, don't you think? Oh, I would think so. Yeah. I would think so. Uh, you're partnered with William Beaumont Hospital, um, the largest employer in Oakland County. Uh, what kind of economic impact and medical impact will this have? Well, the impact on medicine here is important because it moves Beaumont hospitals to another level. It, it changes it from a superb community-based hospital into an academic medical center. It also elevates Oakland University because now having a medical school, that complements the nursing school and other schools. The economic impact to the community uh, will come in stages as the medical school evolves. And two major areas we're focusing in, uh, not exclusively, but the two things we're going to focus in for opportunities would be to attract uh, an interest in what we're going to call healthcare delivery science and building up a lot of uh, commerce on the basis of how we treat patients uh, at the highest uh, level of care at the best value. This is something new, and we hope that Southeast Michigan will become a center for that. All right, hold your point. I've got a lot more questions that we're going right. to try to squeeze in in the time we have left. We need to rush to a commercial break, and we'll hurry right back with Dr. Robert Folberg, the new dean at Oakland University Medical School. We'll be right back. <music> Quality of education, starting a brand new school. How do you get it so that it's going to be the caliber of school to be able to compete against some of the top medical schools in the country? How do you do that and do that, I guess, relatively quickly, or can you do it quickly? Yeah, we have an advantage. First of all, we join a fabulous cohort of, of medical schools here in the state of Michigan. The advantage we have is that we can bring the very latest in medical education, instructional approaches, technologies into the classroom. It takes about five to six years to change a curriculum in an existing school, and we have the advantage of just thinking totally out of the box for the whole school. It doesn't mean that we're better, it doesn't mean that we're worse, but we're going to offer a product that is really distinctive in medical education. There'll be a lot of uh, hands-on experience as well for the students. Well, they're going to start clinical experiences even in the first weeks of medical school, and we're going to continue their sciences throughout four years. We're also going to place our students into the community for some very interesting things, giving back to the community. So there's a lot of things that we do uh, that would be tough to do if I were uh, becoming a dean in an established school. Uh, funding, are you in good shape now? Uh, we are, and it's important, I think, to mention that this is a privately financed medical school. We are not accepting funding from the state of Michigan, so it's funded through a variety of sources. And we're fortunate that we have Oakland University and Beaumont Hospitals, two really sound institutions to help us to get started. How has Oakland County as government uh, been to work with on this, and I know you haven't had to 
get your funding and stuff from them, but there's probably other things that you've needed um, or just the university within itself. Well, the university is great, but we have a lot of support from county leadership. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Patterson speaks very fondly about the new medical school. He sees it as an anchor for growth for Medical Main Street in Oakland there County. There's something to brag about. There is something to brag about. We certainly hope so. Final question. Uh, biggest challenge? Uh, that you're facing as you go forward. Uh, I know you've gotten up to this point now, but as you look down the line to the horizon, uh, is there something that, that concerns you that you say, we're gonna have to deal with that in order to survive and for this school to be here 50 years from now? I can always say money and everybody would understand. Right. But let's assume the money is there. I think the biggest challenge to us is to sustain the momentum that we have as something new. There's some very special things going on. We don't have a chance to talk about all of it today. Uh, and we'd like to sustain that momentum into the future. And I'll tell you why. Because every patient treated by every graduate of this medical school is going to be impacted by what we do here in 2011, setting it in motion. If we set it in motion right, and that is uh, transmitted one generation of medical student to another, then for years to come, we'll have a very positive impact on the health care of people in the, this area of Michigan and beyond. All right, very good. We've got something to brag about here. Dr. Foberg, thank you so, so much for coming in, and good luck with everything at the medical school. Thanks for having me. All right.